Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So we're going to be installing a new modification on the car tonight. Um, this is one of the last exterior pieces that I wanted to do. Um, now this is just something, you know, personal preference. I think uh, the front bumper actually sits a little too high for my taste. Granted the carbon fiber lip and the lip kit and everything lowers it just enough. Uh, but I still think it sits a little high for being how low I am, which is pretty low. You know, I'm on coilovers, I'm not on air or anything like that. Um, but I still think the front bumper still sits a little high for my taste. Now, if you guys seen previous videos of me backing out of my driveway, I'm literally centimeters away from scraping. Um, so I'm fully expecting uh, when I put this new mod on that I'm going to scrape, which is not a big deal, mainly because the splitter, that's what I want it there for. I want it there to protect the carbon. But some of my criteria is I didn't want to just throw a piece of sheet metal on the car. There's a lot of companies out there um, that you know make some arrow for this car, uh, but they're literally just sheet metal that you bolt up. They have crazy wings and and you know a whole bunch of different things that I'm not uh, too fond of. So as you guys know me, anything that I put on the car, I want to make sure it actually is beneficial for it. That it's going to increase the overall driving uh, experience. So if I was going to put something on the car that was going to benefit it, I wanted to actually get some professionally R and D researched. Uh, Aero. And one of the companies that I've always looked up to and that I know does a ton of R&D on this, they're very, very track oriented. Um, a lot of their stuff actually is legitimately, you know, real aero um, and it actually helps drive the car on the track and everything. Granted, this is a street car. I'm not going to really see any benefits from it. I still wanted to make sure that whatever I was putting on the car was going to help the overall driving experience. Now, Varus Engineering and I hooked up and we said, hey, let's get something on the car, um, see what you think, and then maybe we can kind of move on to other things. They got some really cool stuff for this car. Uh, they have a front lip, side skirts, they have a nice rear diffuser. They actually make some under panel trays as well, which is really, really cool to help with the aerodynamics and everything. Now, I don't fully plan on going too crazy with this. The one thing that I really, really wanted was this front splitter. Um, this thing is pretty insane. It's really, really nicely made. It's not made of metal. It's very, very durable. It's not fiberglass or anything like that. It's made of a very durable poly kind of plastic. And it's pretty thick. It's about, I would say about a quarter inch thick. Um, so it's not a little piece of sheet metal or anything like that. It's really, really nice. They also offer a stability kit, which basically is a brace that goes in the front of it that has tie rods going you know, through the bumper. But that modification is mainly for people who exceed 100 miles an hour very often that are tracking the car. You know, For me, I, this car very, very rarely sees that speed, if at all. <laughs> so it's one of those things that I didn't spring for. If I do feel like I need it uh, for whatever reason, um, I could always pick that up and add it later. But honestly, this thing bolts on like crazy. You know, it's not just screwed in with self taps. It's legitimately bolted to the front bumper and, and you know, the whole front of the car. So it's a legit splitter. It's actually going to help with the downforce, make driving experience that much more fun. I'm really curious to see if I'm going to see anything on the street. I'm not really expecting to. It's just because I don't drive, you know, like crazy on the street. But with all the R&D and everything that they've done, um, I'm really, really curious to see if it's going to help with, you know, some front end grip. Uh, and make it more fun to drive. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what it looks like. All right, so here's a splitter out of the box. Really, really nicely cut. You know, they have nice holes already made uh, with little adjustments, They're not just a single, you know, one hole has a little uh, slot so you can shift it back and forth and position it. So the nice part about this, it doesn't go over the body panel underneath or the body tray. Um, it kind of goes around it. Uh, so it's not something that you're gonna have to remove when you do oil changes or anything like that It's very very focused towards daily driving and just you know having access to everything you need to get to um, It's really really nice. The material is really hard. It's like a nice hard plastic um, It's a little sharp on the edges here. Obviously, you know, that doesn't really matter um, But it would be cool if these were kind of beveled a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit cleaner uh, But otherwise, it's really really nice. It's the same on both sides now, if we go over here, you see all the hardware and everything that I'm going to need. I actually picked up a lip kit um, hardware set as well. Uh, basically, that's going to allow me to run it with my uh, charge speed style front lip. You can't just mount it right to the bumper, uh, but since I'm running the lip, you need to get that little kit um, with longer screws so you can run spacers and you can uh, space it out and have it properly mounted. Um, they also sent me over a nice shirt and some lanyards and stuff and a few stickers. Really, really cool by Varus Engineering. I really appreciate it. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's uh, kind of mock it up and just see what it looks like. And then we'll get to installing it. All right, so we got it quickly mocked up. We're just using juice box boxes to hold it up, to kind of position it to see where I wanted it. 
Um, now, I think you're able to actually position it how far out you want it or not. Um, I don't want anything too crazy. Um, you know, I don't want it sticking out really, really far, obviously, because I'm going to be daily driving this. Uh, but that's kind of where I want it. I might push it in a little bit more, um, depending on the adjustments and how much, you know, you can actually adjust it. Uh, but that's basically where I want it. So we're going to be pretty, pretty darn low. Uh, I believe we're about four or five inches from the ground with just the, uh, just the lip. So we're going to be another, you know, quarter inch lower. Uh, but I think it's really, really going to lower the front end, give it that really, really aggressive look. Um, we'll see how long this thing actually lasts on the road. <laughs> Granted, I'm not driving it every single day, um, and the roads that I drive it on are pretty, pretty, um, pretty calm. There's nothing crazy, and I know the areas that I drive, so I know all the potholes and all the entrances and all that. Now, a lot of people are going to say, "How come you didn't go with APR with the carbon fiber splitter?" You know, the thing is absolutely beautiful. I love it, but putting that something that expensive um, underneath the car made of carbon. Um, you're kind of just asking for it. I'm fully expecting this thing to get scraped up and damaged. Um, and granted, you know, this is pretty close to how much the APR one cost. Um, I just felt a little bit more comfortable putting something, um, you know, not carbon underneath the car, super, super low. Uh, plus, I believe this one's a little bit stronger, a little bit more uh, durable than the APR. Plus, I do have a lot of carbon on the car currently, and I don't want to overdo it down here. I think the nice matte black finish um, is going to look really, really nice. But, you know, I don't really want it to stand out too much and kind of be, a, you know, an eye catcher. I just want something to, to lower it a little bit, um, giving it a little bit more aggressive front end look. Um, and I think this is going to do just that. So uh, I gotta, I'm going to look over to the instructions and, the, and how to install this. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but I want to see if I can take the front bumper off. Uh, I think that'll be a little bit easier to install with it off, um, just so I have a little bit more access to everything. But based on the instructions, they may want you to keep it on the car because um, I know you got to bolt a few things in uh, with these little rib nut kind of things over here um, to the actual bumper. So let me go ahead, review the instructions, and then we'll get to installing. As you can see we took the front bumper off it's just much easier to access plus i need access to that daytime running light module because the diodynamic uh, c light daytime running light harness came in as well so i'm going to install that uh, but we're working over here and i got one of the rib nuts installed uh, just you know so i get familiar with it uh, but this is what i did so basically you're just taking this little allen screw screwing it into the rib nut which looks like this um, throwing on a spacer one of these uh, onto the holes over here and then just kind of tighten it down and it spreads open like that um, And then it's on there very very well. So we're gonna be doing on the first three So one two and then three this one you do not use and then the front uh, Three right here. Uh, we're actually going to put the rib nights on the actual plastic piece on the bumper on the car over there um, So let's go ahead. Let's get these three installed um, and then we'll get knocked out Put that on there and uh, we should be good. So getting there. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. It seems very strong. Um, I use the washer as well for added reassurance. You don't need to use the uh, washer here, the little spacer, but I wanted some extra reassurance mainly because this is just plastic um, and having something metal there just makes it a little bit more rigid and a little bit more durable. This one installed you kind of saw it kind of widen out and get flat um, so it's in there really really well so it's a nice secure mounting point um, so basically we're just going to be screwing the supplied hardware through the splitter um, and use a spacer between the lip and uh, the actual bumper and then it'll thread right into this little new rib net so i really really like this i actually prefer it over the little plastic clips anyway um, just because it's going to be in there uh, much stronger, be much sturdier. And honestly, it's probably going to be easier to take out now with just uh, bolts instead of clips because those things break all the time. Um, so, all right, I'm going to knock the rest out on the bumper and then we'll uh, move over to the car and get those ones knocked out. Now what I'm doing is actually 
actually bolting uh, the splitter to the actual bumper. Um, so I have all my spacers, all my hardware here, and I figured out using the big white one, which is like this, and a smaller white one. I could also use the little smaller black ones as well, uh, and the really, really long screws that comes with the lip kit hardware. Um, and it's nice and even and flat. Um, so I'm gonna do that on this three and go over here, do it on this three, and then I'm gonna go over to the car and put the rib nuts on the bumper over there um, and they'll attach right here. So we should be good to go. Everything's lining up really nicely. These ones in the back go right where the uh, splash guard is. Um, so I'm gonna have to pop one of the little rib nuts out or, or one of the screws um, and use the new screw, the new hardware for that. Uh, but otherwise, very, very straightforward, very simple. All right, so before I get the bumper on, uh, which I just realized I need to take the splitter off in order to get it back on because I got to use the screws to, you know, screw it through on the bottom. But either way, that's what it's going to look like. It's sticking out just a little bit. It doesn't fit the CS style uh, lip as well as I wanted it to. I kind of wanted it to bump out a little bit. Um, it, it'll fit the VA style lip, but it has just enough to kind of give it a little bit more definition in the front, a little bit more aggressive. Um, and again, that's going to be a little bit lower looking. As you can see in the back, um, again, I'm going to have to remove all these with the spacers in order to get back on the car. But before I do that, um, I wanted to actually install the diodynamic uh, harness for the daytime running lights. Uh, if you go back a few videos, you guys will realize that I wasn't able to uh, tap into other power for my daytime running lights and my headlights. Um, so I picked up this harness from Dio Dynamics. It literally just plugs right into the plug for the daytime running light. Um, and then on the back of the harness for my headlights, um, there's a little daytime running light wire that you literally just plug into and I'm done. Um, so I just kind of loosely put it in there just to kind of test it and everything worked perfectly. Uh, so now it's just a matter of cleaning up that wire and uh, kind of hiding it away. But really, really easy solution if you want to get your C lights as your daytime running lights without having to tap into any crazy wires or anything like that. Um, it's about 30 bucks, so it's definitely worth it to me. Let me uh, clean up this wire and everything, and then we can get to installing the bumper on the car. Guys, okay, so I got the Diadynamic C-Light harness uh, all wired up, all nicely, cleanly installed. There's nothing being shown, um, so that is done. Uh, but the next thing that I got to do is actually get the bumper back on the car with the splitter. Currently, it's 91 degrees in the garage and incredibly humid, um, so... <laughs> I'm actually going to call it a night. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to drive this tomorrow, um, so I can leave it kind of, I guess, apart. So yeah, I understand. I know you guys wanted to see the full install, uh, but I will pick this back up uh, tomorrow and probably finish this in another video. Just kind of give you a, a day in the life in the garage, you know, because I don't always get projects done in one night. Um, it's just too darn hot. I'm sweating like crazy and uh, I'm kind of tired, so I had a long day at work. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up tomorrow, but that is all I got for you guys tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the next video on the completion of the Varus uh, front splitter install. Um, I'm almost done. I just, you know, I don't feel like getting under the car and everything and jacking it up because I got to get a little bit further underneath um, to be able to get all the spacers and screws in properly. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one.